Hello. Welcome to EasyVB, Tips and Tricks 11. In this tutorial, we will explain how you can find your PC's CPU ID, and your PC's hard disk serial number. Before we go on to explain in detail, please don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and even comment, in support of the channel. Thank you. OK. To get the PC's CPU ID and hard disk serial number is not so difficult. But you may ask why we would want to find this information, and this is a good question. The answer is that, the CPU ID, and, or, hard disk serial number, may be used to restrict use of an application to a particular PC, your own PC for example, or a group of PCs, perhaps those of your friends or colleagues. The information may also be used for software licensing purposes. We'll cover some of those aspects in a future video, but first let's go ahead and code an application which will retrieve the data we want. Create a Windows Forms application. Place one button on the form and stretch it out to the width of the form. Change its text to click here, for this PC's hardware data. Change its name to BTN1. Place a text box on the form and stretch it also to the width of the form. Change its name to TB1. Place a label on the form just above the text box and change its text to CPU ID. Increase font sizes and change control back colors for better visibility and appearance. OK. Now we are ready to write some code. So first double click on the button to create a button click event. Declare three new variables in the declaration space. Write. Dim, MOS, as management object searcher. Dim, MOC, as management, dot, management object collection. Dim, MO, as management, dot, management object. Now above the line, public class form 1, write. Import system, dot, management. OK. Now for these variables and code to work, we must first add the reference, system management. To do this, click the project tab and scroll down to add, reference. Then scroll down to find, system management, and tick the checkbox. OK. Back on the code view, we will write code, to obtain the CPU ID, when the button is clicked. We are going to do that by creating a private sub, and then calling the sub from the click event handler. So write. Private sub, CPU ID, empty brackets. MOS, equals, new management object searcher, open bracket, open inverted commas, select, star, from win32, under bar. Processor, close inverted commas, close brackets. MOC, equals, MOS, dot, get. For each, MO, in, MOC. TB1, dot, text, equals, MO, open bracket, open inverted commas, processor ID, close inverted commas, close brackets. Next. End sub. Now go back to the button click event handler and add the call to this sub. Right. CPU ID, empty brackets. Good, just a few lines of code. Let's run the application and see if we can get the CPU ID. Yes, it works. This is the hardware ID of the CPU and unique to this PC. We can now easily write some more code to get the model, size, and interface type, of the CPU. First go to the form and create three new text boxes, and labels. Rename the text boxes, TB2, TB3, and TB4. Change the label texts to, hard disk model, hard disk size bytes, and hard disk interface.
return to the code view and write. Private sub, hard disk model, empty brackets. MOS, equals, new management object searcher, open bracket, open inverted commas, select, star, from Win32, underbar, disk drive, close inverted commas, close brackets. MOC, equals, MOS, dot, get. For each MO in MOC. TB2, dot, text, equals, MO, open bracket, open inverted commas, model, close inverted commas, close brackets. TB3, dot, text, equals, MO, open bracket, open inverted commas, size, close inverted commas, close brackets. TB4, dot, text, equals, MO, open bracket, open inverted commas, interface type, close inverted commas, close brackets. Next. End sub. Now go back to the button click event handler and add the call to this sub. Right. Hard disk model, empty brackets. Now run the application and see if we can get this further information about the CPU. Yes. We can view now the CPU manufacturer is Toshiba, and the Toshiba model number, also the CPU size, which is 500 megabytes, and the CPU interface type, which is IDE, Integrated Drive Electronics. You may not need this information, or use it for any purpose, however, we demonstrate for you that it is available and retrievable. Of much more use, is one further item of hardware information, and that is the PC's hard drive serial number. Again we are going to retrieve this information by writing another private sub. First go to the form and create one new text box and label. Rename the text box, TB5. Change the label texts to, hard disk model serial number. Return to the code view and write. Private sub, hard disk serial number, empty brackets. MOS, equals, new management object searcher, open bracket, open inverted commas, select, dot, from win32, under bar, physical media, close inverted commas, close brackets. MOC, equals, MOS, get. For each MO in MOC. If MOC is not nothing, then. TB5, dot, text, equals, MO, open bracket, open inverted commas, serial number, close inverted commas, close brackets, exit for, and if, next, end sub. Now go back to the button click event handler and add the call to this sub, write, hard disk serial number, empty brackets, run the application again, and there it is. We have found and retrieved the PC's hard disk serial number. With either, or both, the CPU ID and hard disk serial number, we can easily protect the applications we create, and secure them to run on only our own PC, or other trusted PCs, of friends, or of colleagues. But more about that in the next video. Here, for reference, is the code for this project. On a final point. Do note, that the CPU ID, and hard disk serial number, displayed in this video, have been edited as a hacking prevention measure. You too should be equally cautious about making such information readily available. Thanks for watching. We hope this tip and trick was useful. If it helped you, please like, share, and subscribe.